Because I, I actually think I like younger guys, so I wouldn't, I would be fucking bummed. Really? But I think, because when I was younger, I really liked older men. But now that I'm kind of, I'm 29 and I'm more mature, I'm kind of like, ooh, the younger guys are so cute. And I think it's a very similar situation because it balances out with experience. Right. Yeah. I mean, but okay. Give me an example of a time in recent memory where you hooked up with a younger guy. And I, I'm interested about this dynamic. Okay, so I've only, like... Because you've been in this relationship. You probably yeah, haven't... Yeah, you know. I've been looking at a lot of... I mean, I've, I've realized that I've found a lot of 25-year-olds cute. So 25 was kind of like where I thought my head was at. Um... And then recently I tried something different. That was a 22-year-old. Okay. And I love the 22-year-old. That really? was so much fun. But you got to get yeah. the right one, right? You have to have the right one, 100%. It's not like every 22-year-old. I think that they have to have a lot of life experience and be more on the mature and confident side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because yeah. when I was 22, I was not mature. I was not con I might have been confident, I mean, but not in the right way. they don't have to be right super way. mature, obviously. Yeah. They're 22. But, <laughs> like. but like, I don't know. I mean, okay, here, here's an honest question. If we had 100 dudes... But let's give them an age, too, so that you have, like, a, 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 a even way to judge them. Let's say we had 100 dudes. What percentage of those dudes do you think are giving dick good enough that you would be happy with it? On average, what percentage of guys are serving solid dick? These are just, like, regular guys or just, like, a random? Just random? Yeah, because obviously if we're picking it from a porn convention, it's going to be a different percentage. If we pick it from a construction site, it's going to be a different percentage. Maybe 5%. Five? You think it's that bad? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. They I do. need to teach fucking think, in schools. I think most, because these yeah. guys need to learn to fuck I girls think better. Most, I think. Yeah, I think five percent. Because like, I think that the majority of people I live and you too in a bubble where like people right. have a lot of sex and they're attractive. I don't think that the most you know most of the population is like that. Mm. Wow. Five percent. So guys, get to work. <laughs> what would you say the biggest problem is? Lack of stamina. Um, what is the biggest problem? I think like the biggest problem's got to be them coming too fast. Uh, yeah, that is a problem, and also not yeah, lack of stamina. Cause like sometimes I'll be like, go harder, like let's like satisfy me, and you know, like I then the model he couldn't go hard or fast without coming right away so like it's like i don't want just slow sex and then five seconds of hard like i'm used to being pounded right. <laughs> you know like it, i don't know it has to be a right fit yeah in terms of like actual vagina and dick size or in terms of i mean of, that too yeah. but yeah. That fit is important. That fit is, of course, that fit's important. <laughs> like. Well, that's, I always think about that when I hear about people who get into relationships like, you know, arranged marriages and stuff. I feel so bad for people Or people like who that. even just date for a long time and they, they don't have sex before. I know. I'm sorry. That is not a good strategy mm -mm. in life at no, all. No, it's not. Like, you don't know if you're, it's just, you don't know if you're compatible in that way. Yeah. Ugh. You ever really like a guy and then you actually fuck him and you're just like, I can't, 100%. I can't do this anymore. 100%. Just, or you like really like their personality and you'll fantasize about it and you're like, okay, this is going to be fun. And then like when it really comes down to it, you're like, no. Yeah. I wasn't feeling it. Yeah. No, I had, a girl, <laughs> I had a girl back in the day that I actually thought I really liked. And then I started to realize like, I'm never going to come from having sex with this girl. Yeah. Like, it's just her pussy's too loose. It's not going to happen. We're, we're badly and, a yeah, bad fit. Yeah. You and know? honestly, that I think like a lot of that's genetics, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I highly doubt that she was getting rammed out by such big dicks throughout no. her life. That <laughs> she, she just had a loose pussy Because we girl. were young, too. I was like <laughs> 22. She was probably about my age. Yeah. So it was like, it, it wasn't like she had time to like really get her pussy it gauged didn't out. It fit, you know? No, yeah. Your bodies didn't fit and mesh with each other. Although it does kind of make me wonder if she had had kids that she didn't tell me about i don't think that that makes too much of a difference either like obviously yes it makes a difference for a short term but it's a muscle so it does go back i think that but you would know i well my girl didn't push a, a baby out of her vagina oh, she had a c-section okay. so i can't like compare yeah. with her and it, maybe it does go back I've a been, lot i've been told by mothers they're like oh i have such a tight pussy and i'm like good for you Hey, if you enjoyed this clip and you want to see more, this is our new Clips channel. Help us get to 10,000 subscribers. Hit subscribe down below. Appreciate y'all.